WICR Sports. Good afternoon, Iona. This is Kevin Barnett with your WICR Sports Update. Busy day in hockey and basketball last night, so let's get right into it. In the NBA, the struggling New York Knicks dropped their third straight to the lowly Bobcats and lost starting center Tyson Chandler in the process. Here's Tim Legler on the Knicks' current struggles. Both ends struggle. Offensively, they became one-dimensional. Everything was going through Melo. They were stagnant, just forcing the ball to him. He takes 28 shots to get 32 points and ends up with two assists. That You're not going to win games unless the ball is distributed a little bit better than that and decent there. So the Knicks, with the Bobcats in your building at home, when you're one and two, it's just a game you have to have. Now, I know Tyson Chandler went down, and that hurt them late with some of those putbacks and interior yeah. points. Maybe that's a difference maker, but just the way that they're playing, it's like same old Knicks. You know, 12 assists in an NBA game. If Carmelo Anthony gets two assists, he touches the ball every time yeah. up the floor, and he ends up with two assists. And, and my biggest complaint with the Knicks right now is this. If you went out and got Andrea Bargnani, mm-hmm. and you're going to give him five shots in 23 minutes, what's the point of having him on the floor? Because- Jason Kidd picked up his first win at home as the Nets cruise past the Jazz. The defending champion Miami Heat defeated Toronto 104-95. The Indiana Pacers improved to 4-0, knocking off the Detroit Pistons. The Dallas Mavericks crushed the LA Lakers 123-104, led by Monte Ellis' stellar. 30.9 assist game. The newly named New Orleans Pelicans dropped a close one to the surprising 3-1 Phoenix Suns. Led by James Harden's 33 points, the Rockets knocked off Portland 116-101. The winless Nuggets fell to the defending Western Conference champion Spurs 102-94, and the Atlanta Hawks held on to beat the Sacramento Kings in California 105-100. NHL news now starting off with the return of Alexander Ovechkin, and his two goals helped the Washington Capitals crush the New York Islanders 6-2. In a battle of two red-hot teams, they certainly play like it as the St. Louis Blues defeated the Montreal Canadiens 3-2 in a shootout. Former Boston Bruins Tyler Sagan and Rich Peverly got some revenge on their old team as their shootout goals helped the Stars beat the Bruins in Boston 3-2. The Senators soared past the Blue Jackets 4-1. The Edmonton Oilers had an overtime victory over the Florida Panthers 4-3. The Philadelphia Flyers continued to struggle as they fell 2-1 in overtime in Carolina. Zach Parise's two goals helped the Minnesota Wild triumph at home 5-1 against the Flames. Two of the hottest teams in the West met in Phoenix last night as the Coyotes defeated the Vancouver Canucks 3-2 on Antoine Vermette's second straight shootout victory goal. And the lowly Buffalo Stabers stunned the hockey world by knocking off the first place San Jose Sharks 5-4 in overtime. Thursday Night Football takes place tomorrow night as RG3 and the Redskins travel to Minnesota to take on reigning MVP Adrian Peterson and the Vikings. Kickoff is scheduled for 825 on NFL Network. In Iona Sports, men's soccer takes on Manhattan at 1 p.m. today on Mazella Field. For more info, please visit icgales.com. This is Kevin Barnett with your WICR Sports Update. Have a great day, everybody.